In this video I will show you how to upgrade CPU in Apple 2019 Mac Pro. Currently I have there the 16 core Intel Xeon W3245, but I need more power. So I purchased the Intel Xeon W3265M, the 24 core monster and for really cheap. I will get to it later. And after the step by step CPU upgrade I will show you some benchmark results or how much more performance you can expect by moving from the 16 core to 24 cores and also what exact models of Xeon CPUs you need to get to maintain the full compatibility with the 2019 Mac Pro so watch it till the end and if you plan to do the Mac Pro CPU upgrade yourself don't worry if I can make it then you can make it too let's go Hi, I'm Teresa from Morgonau.cloud and I provide personal individual support to people who need help with their computers. So if you would need any help with your Apple Mac, Windows or Linux computer, I offer one-on-one -on -one video calls and remote sessions to your computer on my Patreon or my Morgonau.cloud website. Links are in this video description. Simply, you can book a live meeting with me in just few clicks. So let's jump straight to the CPU upgrade of my 2000. 2019 Mac Pro. Let's first unscrew the two small screws holding the cooler cover. Now unscrew these two screws on the back. Using longer Torx 15 screwdriver, unscrew two screws holding the CPU cooler to the motherboard. Now gently slide out the cooler. Now using your fingers squeeze the retention bracket to release it and gently remove the old CPU. Old 16 core CPU out and the new 24 core in. Now clean the CPU cooler with isopropyl alcohol. Carefully place the new CPU into the socket and secure it with the retention bracket. Now it's time to clean the surface of the new CPU. Apply new thermal paste. I use the Noctua NTH2. Now slide in the CPU cooler. Screw in the two long CPU screws holding the cooler to the motherboard. Screw back in those two screws on the back. And the last step, two small screws holding the CPU cover. Congratulations, that's it! And now you can still get some money back by selling the old CPU. So as you could see the CPU upgrade in 2019 Mac Pro was pretty easy and straightforward. No drama here. So let's see if it was actually worth it. Geekbench and Cinebench show quite similar increase of performance, 25%. But those benchmarks was not the reason I did this CPU upgrade. Benchmarks tells absolutely nothing about real life performance. I use this Mac Pro as my main recording and streaming workstation. Sometimes I need to record up to four 4K 30fps cameras at once and some 4K 60fps computer screens and all that at the same time. I use for that FF MPEG compiled with Blackmagic Decklink support. The 16 core was able to record two 4K 30fps cameras to Apple ProRes 422 and single 4K 60fps screen to Apple ProRes 422 LT in real time. 
The 24 core is able to record four 4K 30fps cameras to ProRes 422LT and single 4K 60fps screen which is exactly what I needed. So it's roughly about 30% uplift. But I noticed one pleasant side effect of this CPU upgrade. My 2019 Mac Pro now runs cooler and also consumes less energy. In idle only 135 watts with the 192 gigs of memory in 12 memory slots. And in this configuration my 24 core Mac Pro performs the same as the 28 core one, at least as per Geekbench 5 database. Wonderful. So now let's have a look how to get the CPU for cheap. If you have the base 8 core model then your options are the 12 core Xeon W 3235, 16 core Xeon W 3245, 24 core Xeon W 3265 M and top of the line 28 core Xeon W 3275 M. Here you can see first results on US eBay. As you can see prices are from roughly 800 US dollars to 1175 just on this page. So it's more than six times cheaper than what Apple would charge you. And you still would have the old CPU which you could still sell. Just be careful not to buy CPU labeled as ES which stands for engineering sample or QS qualification sample which are not the final retail versions but engineering samples. Obviously you don't need to limit your search just for eBay but prices here should reflect the current market price. In some local offers I'm sure you could get this even cheaper. It's quite insane, Apple is not shy to charge you $6,000 for this CPU upgrade, which I did get six times cheaper. By the way, if you would need any help with your Apple Mac, Windows or Linux PC, I offer one-on-one -on -one video calls and remote sessions to your computer on my websites. Links are in this video description. You can book a live meeting with me in just few clicks. If you are a Mac user, you should definitely check my other useful videos here. So I hope I made your day again a little better. If so, then hit the like button below to help this channel and to me to produce for you more useful videos like this in future. Take care and see you next time my Macintosh friends.